where you're not like right up against the island, but you're still like near. There's another one just spawned. Oh boy, I've got to get turned around quick. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Atlas, and welcome to our uh, N2 outpost, which was in one of the previous videos, possibly. I think. <laughs> um, I'm a bit far in front of myself at the minute, so I can't work out what's what. But yeah, I think this was in one of the videos previous to this one. Anyway, um, I'm at the outpost, and as you can see, we've got a ship shell in the dock, in the masterwork dock. And uh, this is obviously a masterwork Shuna I'm building, and um, I've got all the parts ready to go on. I thought I'll build it with you guys, because this is is the whaling boat um, I'm going to make. And um, in the last video, I was trying to do some whaling and it did not go to plan. I completely blanked. It was one of them days um, which kind of goes with whaling sometimes. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but occasionally you can spend a few hours doing it and uh, won't find anything. Obviously, I could have spent longer, but I didn't have longer to do it. So, um, yeah, on that particular day, I didn't get anything. And so I decided to get an actual whaler set up. Um, I finally decided to get around to doing it. And this way I can sail this boat along the polar and tundra regions. And once I've built up a nice stack of gold, I can just bring it on back. Rather than going out whaling and coming back to base every day, I can just leave this out um, parked up in different places, do some exploring, get some discovery points with it. And, uh, you know, that way it's doing multiple things which is really helpful but before I do anything as you have seen with all my ships and almost anything I do in this game I like to decorate things as you can see Hercules over there even the tugboats are decorated um, so I thought while I'm doing this I'll show you my way of doing this to make things easier so I already know I'm going to be doing uh, gold and blue just like Hercules and um, Njord's might because of this, that's definitely my favourite colour scheme at the moment. I do like the red and black, but the red's a little bit washed out, and I wish it was a bit darker. Um, the gold and the blue seems to look really nice, and uh, yeah, I just like it. So that's what we're going for. So before I do anything, I like to get the um, shell painted so that you don't have to do it later. And I'll just walk up to it with a brush and hit it if you didn't know. So I'll just get this painted up. So yeah, there we go, all painted, all nice and blue on the shell. Got the sign painted with a little gold outline on it. And the reason I've done this is because I'm going to be painting the majority of the boat gold. All the planks and stuff will be gold. And then all the little uh, details, the little outline and stuff will be in this cerulean blue. And uh, that gives the effect I've got on Hercules and Njordsmite, which is, uh, like I said, I really like. So that's the shell bit done. Uh, so next, I like to stick in the bottom decks. Pow, and boom, that's that done. Oh, it's just getting dark. I was just about to grab the ceilings. I'll grab these ceilings and we'll wait for sunrise and I'll do the rest in the daylight. Right, sweet, the sun is up. I have got a cup of coffee and we can crack on with this again. So yeah, like I said, I've done the, uh, I painted the frame, got that uh, bottom deck in and this top deck. So now I'm just going to, uh, oh, I'll put my hammer away because that's annoying. Start slapping these um, ceiling panels in. Now, I've got to work out where I want my uh, holes to be. I think we'll leave it in the middle. Let's flick it around there like that. Our balls are filled in. Pow, there we go. All right, stairs. Let's just put my out for now. I might change them later, but that should be all right. It depends where these back walls go. Right, so now what I like to do is then paint these, so we're doing each bit as we go. So I'm just going to paint um, blue like that, pow. And hopefully paint all these as well. Boom, done. Looks pretty blue right now, but once it's finished you'll have uh, some of the gold pieces showing through and it'll look pretty nice hopefully. Right, so that's the decks in. Now it's the fun bit. My favourite thing, and I say it every time, the most satisfying thing in gaming history. Clipping in your planks. Oh boy, let's do the bottom ones first. Pow. 
Boom, that's the bottom ones done. Let's get these top ones in. Boom, that's all of them. Right, now get this back out and turn the main colour off. And I can't remember which ones it is, so what we'll do is paint this one. So I want two. So what I'm going to do is I'll select all of them but the first one on my paint gun. Oh. And hopefully that will just outline all the extra trim bits. Oh, paint run out. I have to do it again because it resets them. Oh, missed one there. That should be them done. And then the same at the top. Boom. And now we'll swap to the gold. I'll do the bottom first again. There we go. It looks a bit like a banana boat right now, but once it's in the water, it should look good. I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> uh, we can change it anyway eventually if we don't like it. Right. Now... Um, you know what, let's get the sails in first and we can work around them. So I've gone for a large handling and um, a small speed sail for now. And uh, I'm not fully committed to this setup. I might decide to swap this uh, large handling for a large uh, speed sail at some point. But the large speed sails shut super super slowly and uh, the last thing I want is for a whale to pop up and me to plow into it because I couldn't stop or something silly like that and the, the large handlings give you much quicker acceleration and stopping plus the turning's unbelievable and obviously gives me more wind options so um, that's why I went for it um, and like I said I might change it but I think this is going to be the best setup right now for it and uh, I think that will look pretty good just there and then stick this one right at the front I think that will look pretty good looks a bit weird having the large handle in there but I prefer it when the um, sail don't stick all the way over the back uh, so we'll leave it like that see how that looks should be good. Might as well get that painted as well. Like that. Swap to gold. Gold drapes always look good. Power. Power. Yeah. Right. So uh, let's get the back walls in first. Ah, I've messed up here, guys. I got carried away and excited about putting in my planks, and I should have uh, put my walls up first. So just make sure when you're building a boat and you want to build a cabin, it's always better if you don't put the planks in until last, because some of these walls won't clip in now, like them ones, which don't matter too much, but um, it don't look great inside once um, you come to finish it. Um, I might whip that plank out and stick a new one in and the same on the other side uh, so let's just whip these out and hopefully I should be able to put these in like so and slap them back in ah oh, sweet there you go that's them back in and painted we can get back to doing this now. So, and the reason I've done this rather big is because we need to go up one at the back to get over the lip of the boat so that when I put the blisters on there, they don't bug out on the back of the boat, hopefully, just to save any issues in the future. Uh, I'm not sure if I like it or not, but let's go, let's go up our full walls height. Pow. All right, and now I'm hoping I'll be able to mount four ballistas along here and 
because this is a ramp, it shouldn't cause any issues. They should be able to um, stand on them and not bug out or anything. That's what I'm hoping. I'm still a bit gutted about the back coat. I don't really like it. But um, on the Seawolf, I had issues where I made it level with the top of the back of the boat. Where the cannons were, it was bugging them out a little bit. And, uh, you know, I don't want that with the ballistas. So I'm going for functionality for change rather than um, the looks of the boat. But should look pretty good anyway. That's the... Um, should be fine. Right, I'll just get this mess painted now. There we go, right, that's the painting done, that's that all done. Now I just need my ballistas and my steering wheel, I think. Right, so now... Uh, should we have to plonk these along here? Uh, what the fuck? No! <laughs> fuck! Oh! Oh no, as if I've done that. Oh my god. Well, does anyone need four catapults? 140% increased damage? Fuck! I thought I picked up ballistas! No! What a waste of materials. Well, I'm going to have to go and make some ballistas before I stick them on here, but um, I cannot believe I've done that. Right, I'm back at my ship. Oh, boy, I had a disaster last night doing this. Um, made a couple of changes before I went to bed last night. Um, obviously, I messed up with my catapults, which would have been the last clip you just see. And yeah, when I got them sorted, got some ballistas made, I've got them on me now. And I actually used the right blueprint this time and double check before I crafted them. So we definitely got a 137% increased weapon damage on them. Got four of them bad boys, going to stick them on. And uh, I modified the back so that it looks a bit better. I'm pretty happy with it now. It don't look like a hollow mess. Stuck some uh, sloped sides on to give it a better shape. And it actually looks pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, let's get these ballistas on. Uh, see if I can do it like this. That looks pretty good and straight. Uh, let's get it right on the edge. Pow. Let's see if we can get another one in. So I've got to get four on it. So actually, I think it might be best to uh, do this side. Get them as far forward as it'll go, like that. Then try and oh, not fall off there. Give me a sec. Right, without falling off this time. Let's see if I can. What that will look like. And hopefully, as long as I don't balls this up, that should just slip in there, like so. And although they're like right close together, it shouldn't affect them in any way. Should still all work once we get them mounted uh, and get them, you know, crewed up. I'm pretty sure they'll be fine. So right, that's that sorted. Uh, I've just got to get some crew. I'm going to nick two of the sailors off of Voyager over there so that I can sail to a free port and grab four extras for this. And uh, We'll see what she can do. I've just stuck some uh, finishing touches to the boat and I'm about to launch it. I thought I might as well launch it with you guys. Uh, just stuck these railings on, give it a nice finishing touch. Um, I haven't put any on the sides there because I don't know whether if I put them on these slopes it might bug out the end ballistas when the crew try and turn to one side that might um, unmount them. Uh, so rather than have any issues at all, I've just left it open like that. I think it looks pretty good though. And then down here, I've got all the bits and pieces in. Got the larder, smithy, resource box, uh, preserving bag. That's all in now and sorted. And we've got the crew on the sail. So I've just got to go get some extra crew for the um, ballistas, obviously. And uh, oh, I got my flags painted. I still haven't... Uh, showing how you do that if you don't know. I'll make a quick video at some point just showing you how you um, convert images and put them into the game. But got my bronze beard uh, flags up. 
And now it's time to launch it. Oh yeah, release ship. Oh yeah. Wales Bane. I think that's a pretty cool name. And uh let's get it out and see what these sails do. Yeah, super happy with that. Just gotta go get some crew for the blisters then. Get them mounted and hopefully hunt down a whale and try it out and see how it all goes. Right, I'm fully kitted out. We've got the whaling schooner, Whale's Bane. I've got four crew members. I've been in bought from the Freeport quickly on the way up here. Oh, I was on the way up here to get my way to get them, you know what I mean? And uh, got my blisters manned. And as you can see, I'm currently sailing between some islands. I'm up in the polar region. I'm in M1 right now. And I'm going to try out something I've been thinking since the last video the more I think about it the more I realize a lot of the whales I found recently and as far as I can remember have been off the coasts of islands in little channels like this in inlets or um, in little alcoves and stuff not in alcoves but around where alcoves are and the reason I started thinking more about this is because um, I w before I built this boat I was transporting some stuff and I got chased by a monstrous sperm whale um, when I was in my uh, transport brig and that was in a channel between two islands um, so and like I said the more I think about it the more I remember the whales that I've killed have been around islands and stuff so that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how long it's going to take me, but I'm going to stick this method out and hope it pays off. Obviously, I have found whales out in open water. Um, like I said, we've tried all the other methods in the last video where I blanked, and that will happen. If you're watching this trying to find out whaling tips, you are going to have times where you won't find them, especially if you haven't got a lot of time to play. So the la that video I'd done previously was over like fr a three-hour playing periods um so it's quite a big window to be fair but you know in the grand scheme of things you know they are quite rare and if a lot of people are out whaling then obviously your chances are going to be lowered but they are rare spawns as well they're not super rare but i do believe they are kind of rare uh, so it's just a patience game um, most of the time you will find them but there are going to be days where you don't and obviously, Sod's Law, the day I wanted to record a video whaling, I blanked. So uh, I'm hoping I can come up with something in this one. I'm not going to do any updates, nothing goes. So the next time you see me will be when I'm chasing a whale down, hopefully. And um, yeah, fing fingers crossed it all goes well. Oh boy. I think I've just seen one. I'm sure I could just see a spout of water in the distance. I can't see it now though. Oh, was it these loading in? No, there it is. Yes, there we go. And as you can see, guys, like, look, this is what I was talking about. They always seem to be at least within viewing distance of an island. <clears throat> Let's try and get this bad boy turned around. Oh, I'm sorry, it's night time now. God damn. At least got my blue light on on the ship, looking cool. Just drop some of this sail. Oh, man. That's probably took me an hour since I um, last spoke to you guys, so um, I'm in N1 now and I, I've just been doing exactly what I said, just sailing around the islands, just a good distance offshore and keeping my eye out, seeing if anything gets triggered and I was just turning my camera around as I caught the light of a um, ship of the damned out the corner of my eye. And just past it, I see a spout of water, and uh, so I started heading towards it, and it was this bad boy. So, yeah, definitely make sure you've got your uh, view distance turned up, because that was super far away. He must have been right on the edge of my view distance. He's getting kind of close now. Let's see if we can lay down some uh, arrows on him. And he's just slightly. I'm just going to wait for him. He should come back. I'll turn the camera up for you guys. Hopefully it's not too washed out, but at least you'll be able to see. Oh, I'm so happy. I don't know whereabouts his head is. I think he's coming back towards me. I'm just about to see his... Uh, 
spray. There's his fin. Let's see if I can Let's see if I can get him. Ah, there we go. Let's see if I can get a bit closer to see what damage these uh, ballistas are doing. God damn, they're doing a lot of damage. I, I can't see what they're hitting for. There we go, I might see this one. No. Oh, they are clunking him. Oh my god, absolutely smashed him. 900s, god damn. Oh, I'm so glad that's worked. I'm, I'm convinced that's the way to do it. I think you're better off sailing through the um, polar zones or the tundra zones, <clears throat> depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for these whales, the uh, sperm whales, then obviously the polar region. And just going around the islands in each grid, I would take my time doing that. I seem to f this is back in N1, which I, I seem to find all my whales in it. And um, again, you can see how far away we are now, but obviously we've run out this distance and I can still see the islands. I honestly think there's something in that. Um, I don't know that for certain, but there's so much stuff out there, guys, on the internet, on YouTube, and on the wiki, and on Reddit, and on all the stuff. With loads of different opinions, and like I said in the last video, you can go along the um, atlas from like west to east or east to west, depending which way the wind's blowing, along the um, borders. Apparently that's a good way of um, finding them. Ah, oh, nice haul of gold. Uh, but when I tried it in the last videos, I didn't go all the way across the grid, because uh, I was running out of time, I had to come back. I'd done six grids though, and I didn't find anything. I dropped down and come back in the grids below and didn't find anything. We also tried uh, going in one direction and then doubling back on ourselves because apparently some people believe that can spawn them like in your wake. That didn't work for me. And uh, obviously we tried what I normally do which is essentially what I've just done again now and that seems to always work for me and that is Going around the islands, a good distance out where you're not like right up against the island, but you're still like near. There's another one just spawned. Oh boy, I've got to get turned around quick. This is exactly why I uh, put this hand and sail on. Oh boy, this is going to be close. Let's get him lined up. Oh boy, please don't catch me. Ooh. Oh, it was me shooting. I shit myself then. <laughs> Oh boy, what are the chances? This is what I'm talking about. Look again, right in view of the, the islands. I'm sure that's it, guys. I'm sure you've got to be in the right region. By that I mean over polar or tundra. You've got to be this sort of distance out, if not closer. This is like quite far out as far as I'm concerned. I'd like to be halfway between where I am now and the island. I think that's the way to do it. I honestly do. I get all my whales like this. Got him again. Absolutely smashed two of them. I can't believe that. He sh he just spawned where we was. Um, again, and look at the distance. I'd keep that in mind, guys. I know I keep saying it. I think that is the key. Um, so we've tried all the different methods, and, and this is the one that keeps working for me. So if I was you guys, I'd get yourself some sort of setup, whatever you feel comfortable with. Like I said, I've gone and got this after the last video because I just decided I, I want a dedicated whaling ship. Um that I can just sail along the polar regions with. So kind of, you know, taking that strategy in of sa sailing through the, the polar regions and combining it with exploring. So going around the islands, just like I've just said a million times, at this this sort of distance out, if not a little bit closer. And, and trying that, that seems to work best for me. Um, and like I said, there's so much stuff out there on the internet, on YouTube and on Reddit and on all the forums. Um about the different ways of uh, oh, I've got some nice stuff there, I'll check out in a minute of different ways of finding and locating the whales and this definitely works the most for me Where this is like the maximum range you want to be at I'd say you want to be a bit closer than this to be honest halfway between where I am and them islands I think it's perfect as long as you've got your view distance maxed out I think like I just said somewhere between here and halfway to the islands is going to be the best way of locating them. 
go around all the islands. Let me get my map out and zoom right in. Now let me get the atlas out. That'll be easier. So you can see where I am here. Look, just I was hugging these, going around all these islands. I went all around there. I went round these islands. I looped each one and through the middle, and then I come over this way because the wind was blowing this way. And then I went around the top, around this island, and I was just coming around the bottom of this island here, so along here, and that was where I see them whales. So I think that's the key, guys. Again, I've said it again, I'm repeating myself, I'm so excited. I think that is it. I think that's the best way of doing it. I would combine what I've just done and talked about with the strategy of sailing along the atlas from one side to the other, along the polar or the tundra regions, and doing it like that. Get a boat that you can leave parked up at an island and just bring it back to empty your gold. That's what I would do. And um, yeah, the proof's in the pudding right there. We just nailed two of them exactly how I said. So I think that is the key, guys. I really, really hope that helps someone out. Um, and I think, I hope this starts adding to the uh, knowledge of the whales. Like I said, there's so much stuff out there in different theories. I think this is the correct way of doing it. I really do. Um, anyway, guys, hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.